Hello everybody. Welcome to this presentation about brain aerobics brought to you by Beth Gregg at Windermere Residential Health Services. This presentation will last about 20 minutes or so and there will be times when you'll be asked to pause the video to work on puzzles and brain challenges. Be sure to have a pen and a piece of paper handy and get ready to have some fun while exercising your brain. We have the power to slow the mental decline that sometimes can come with aging. The goal of brain training is to turn inactive brain cells into healthy, active ones. Exercising the brain daily is central to great cognitive fitness. This video will give you some examples of simple ways that you can give your brain a fun workout. Before we start exercising the brain, we need to give it a good warm up. Start by warming up your whole body. Increased blood flow and oxygenation to your body also provides increased blood flow and oxygenation to your brain. So before we get started with something that's going to require a lot of brain power, do some light exercise first. Join in now. Roll your wrists and your ankles. Spend a few minutes marching in place. Pretend a hula hoop to get your hips moving. Do arm circles. Take a few minutes and it's okay to pause the video until you're ready to proceed. Don't forget to exercise your face as well. This increases the oxygen and blood flow in your head and feeds your brain. So stick out your tongue, purse your lips, roll your eyes. Don't worry, nobody's watching. One last physical exercise before we get into the brain exercise is to take some slow, long, deep breaths in and out. Not only does this exercise supercharge your body and brain with oxygen, but it also reduces the stress hormone cortisol. What does that have to do with brain health? Well, cortisol is toxic to the area of the brain responsible for memory retention. The more cortisol and stress you have, the less well your brain works. So take a few minutes to sit or stand with your elbows slightly back. Take a long, slow, deep breath in until you can't breathe in any longer. Hold for a few seconds, then slowly exhale all the way until you can't exhale any longer. Repeat this a few times as tolerated. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. Now comes the fun. We'll go through a series of brain challenges and puzzles. These are meant to give every area of your brain a workout. Did you know that the different areas of your brain are responsible for different kinds of thinking and memory? You wouldn't go to the gym and only exercise your arms, right? No, you'd also do cardio, leg work, stretching, all kinds of different exercises. Well, you can think of your brain in a similar way. The variety of brain exercises in this program gives you a comprehensive way of working the whole brain. Our first exercise is going to test your memory. Consider the outlined map of the United States. Can you point to each state and name it? For any of these exercises that we do in this presentation, don't forget to pause the video while you're working until you're ready to move to the next exercise. For the next exercise, you will be asked to memorize a short poem. Take time with this memorization because you'll be asked to remember the poem at the end of this video. Here is the poem. Irish blessing. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. Repeat it out loud several times. Try to commit it to memory. Pause the video until you're ready to proceed. Now that you can't see the poem any longer, see if you can recite it from memory. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. Here's a quick scan exercise. Look around the room where you are sitting. How quickly can you find four things that are red and four things that are blue? Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. Do you remember how to recite the Pledge of Allegiance? 
Do it now and see if you can remember all the words. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. For this exercise, I want you to time yourself for two minutes. In two minutes, see how many words in any foreign language you can write down. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. This exercise is going to engage all of your five senses, hearing, smell, touch, vision, and taste. Take some time to pay attention to what your body is communicating to you about the environment around you right now. On your piece of paper, write down something you can hear. Extra bonus points if you can describe the sound. Write down something you can smell with extra bonus points for describing the aroma. Write down something you can touch and describe what it feels like. Write down something you can see and describe what it looks like. Write down something you can taste and try to describe the taste. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. Tongue twisters can be fun and they give your brain a terrific workout. Take some time trying out these tongue twisters. Say each one five times in a row as fast as you can. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. What do the following words have in common? For example, if you look at the first grouping of three, needles, hurricanes, potatoes, the thing that all three things have in common are eyes. Needles, hurricanes, and potatoes all have eyes. Take some time to figure out what the other groupings of three have in common. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. Get out your thinking caps. This one is a numbers game. Without writing down your answers, do some mental math and start adding. Here's the pattern. Add one to two. Then add three to that number. Then add four to that number. Then five, then six, and on and on. How high can you go? Can you make it to 10? Is that too easy? If so, see if you can get to 50 or 100. Pause the video until you're ready to proceed. Recite the days of the week out loud. Don't write them down. Then the challenge is to try to recite the days of the week in backwards order. If that's too easy, recite the days of the week in alphabetical order. Then, if you really want a challenge, recite the days of the week in backwards order alphabetically. Pause the video until you are ready to proceed. Multiplication tables are a great way to exercise the brain. We all remember these from grammar school. When's the last time you gave them a try? If you don't remember what multiplication tables are, Look for the example in the picture. We'll start with the ones. One times one equals one. One times two equals two. One times three equals three. One times four equals four, and on and on. Once you get through one times 10 equals 10, then you can start with the twos. Two times one, two times two, two times three, and up to 10. Then you move on to the threes and then the fours and continue going. See how you can challenge yourself. How quickly can you do them? Most multiplication tables end with the tens, but can you go further? Can you do 11, 12, or even higher? Pause the video until you're ready to proceed. Reminiscing is a powerful brain exercise that taps into your long-term memory Spend some time reminiscing about your childhood and write down your thoughts and memories. 
Here are some ideas to get you started reminiscing. What is your earliest memory? Describe your childhood bedroom and house you grew up in. What kinds of toys did you play with? What family traditions did you have growing up? What was your first job? Talk about your early adulthood. What were you like then compared to how you are now? What is a favorite memory that you have? Pause the video until you're ready to proceed. This is a game of categories. Start by writing your name down on the left side of your paper, going vertically as demonstrated in the picture. Horizontally, you can write in category titles and then see if you can come up with a word to fit each of the categories that start with the letters in your name. For example, my name is Beth and it starts with a B. So I had to find an animal that begins with a B, a vegetable that begins with a B, a city, and a job, both that begin with a B. Then I moved on to the next letter of my name, which is E, and did the same exercise. Continue through all the letters of your first name. Do you want to challenge yourself? Try to do the game with the letters in your entire name, first, middle, and last. You can also add extra categories for fun. Pause the video until you're ready to proceed. Now is the time where I'm going to ask you to remember the poem from the beginning of the presentation. Take a few minutes to either recite it out loud or write it down. Pause the video until you're ready to proceed. We are almost to the end of the presentation. I hope you had a lot of fun giving your brain a workout. I wanted to leave you with an important bit of information to keep in mind when you're thinking of brain health. There are three main ways to protect your brain and keep your thinking sharp. The first one is keeping your body physically healthy. This includes exercising, good nutrition, good sleep, hydration, and disease prevention. The second is cognitive stimulation. This includes brain engagement, thinking, learning, problem solving, brainstorming, mental health awareness, and stress reduction. The third is socialization. This includes being around other people, having conversations, talking on the phone, connecting by email or text, having discussions, emotionally supporting others, volunteering, sharing optimism, and having a support system of friends, family, and neighbors. What is one easy thing you can do to incorporate all of the three healthy brain habits? Go for a walk with a friend. Talk as you walk. Enjoy each other's company while you get your blood flowing as you exercise. Talk about current events, your feelings, or reminisce together. Just remember, during COVID times, be sure to wear a mask and keep at least six feet apart from each other in order to prevent the spread of COVID. Maybe when you finish with this video, you'll be inspired to invite someone on a walk outside while the weather is beautiful. Thank you so much for participating in this video. I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned a few things. If you have any questions or would like more information, please reach out to me. My email address is gregbeth at windermerelcs.com and my phone number is 630-681-4037. Send me comments, suggestions, and ideas for future videos. Until the next time, keep your brain healthy and have fun while doing so.